Ra. I am Ra. I greet you in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. I communicate now. Questioner. I would first like to ask as to the condition of the instrument, please. Ra. I am Ra. This instrument is experiencing physical distortions toward weakness of the bodily complex occurring due to psychic attack. This instrument's vital energies have not been affected, however, due to the aid of those present in healing work. This instrument will apparently be subject to such weakness distortions due to incarnative processes which predispose the body complex towards weakness distortions. Questioner. Is there any specific thing that we can do that you have already told us, or otherwise to alleviate the psychic attack, or to help the instrument the most? Ra. I am Ra. We scan this instrument and find its distortion towards appreciation of each entity, and each entity's caring, as you may call it. This atmosphere, shall we say, offers the greatest contrast to the discomfort of such psychic attacks, being the reciprocal, that is, the atmosphere of psychic support. This each of you do, as a subconscious function of true attitudinal, mental, emotional, and spiritual distortions towards this instrument. There is no magic greater than honest distortion toward love. Questioner. Thank you. I want to ask a couple questions about previous material that I didn't understand. I am hoping that this will clear up my understanding somewhat with respect to the mental configurations with which we have been dealing. In the session before last you stated, however, this is a risk for the Orion entities due to the frequency with which the harvestable negative planetary entities then attempt to bid or order the Orion contact just as these entities bid planetary negative contacts. Can you explain the mechanisms that affect polarization in consciousness with respect to this statement? Ra. I am Ra. The negative polarization is greatly aided by the subjugation or enslavement of other selves. The potential between two negatively polarized entities is such that the entity which enslaves the other or bids the other gains in negative polarity. The entity so bidden or enslaved in serving another self will necessarily lose negative polarity, although it will gain in desire for further negative polarization. This desire will then tend to create opportunities to regain negative polarity. Questioner. Am I to understand then just the fact that the third density entity on this planet, just the fact that he calls or bids an Orion Crusader is a polarizing type of action that affects both entities? Ra. I am Ra. This is incorrect. The calling mechanism is not congruent in the slightest degree with the bidding mechanism. In the calling, the entity which calls is a suppliant neophyte asking for it in negative understanding, if you may excuse this misnomer. The Orion response increases its negative polarity as it is disseminating the negative philosophy, thereby enslaving or bidding the entity calling. There are instances, however, when the contact becomes a contest which is prototypic love negativity. In this contest, the caller will attempt not to ask for aid, but to demand results. Since the third density negatively oriented harvestable entity has at its disposal an incarnative experiential nexus and since Orion Crusaders are, in a great extent, bound by the first distortion in order to progress, the Orion entity is vulnerable to such bidding, if properly done. In this case, the third density entity becomes master and the Orion Crusader becomes entrapped and can be bid. This is rare. However, when it has occurred, the Orion entity or social memory complex involved has experienced loss of negative polarity in proportion to the strength of the bidding third density entity. Questioner. You mentioned that this will work when the bidding is properly done. What did you mean by when the bidding is properly done? Ra. I am Ra. To properly bid is to be properly negative. The percentage of thought and behavior involving service to self must approach 99% in order for a third density negative entity to be properly configured for such a contest of bidding. Questioner. What method of communication with the Orion entity would a negative bidder of this type use? Ra. I am Ra. The two most usual types of bidding are 1. The use of perversions of sexual magic 2. The use of perversions of ritual magic In each case the key to success is the purity of the will of the bidder. The concentration upon victory over the servant must be nearly perfect. Questioner Can you tell me, in the polarizations in consciousness, if there is any analogy with respect to what you just said in this type of contact with respect to what we are doing right now in communicating with Ra? Ra? I am Ra. There is no relationship between this type of contact and the bidding process. This contact may be characterized as one typical of the brothers and sisters of sorrow, wherein those receiving the contact have attempted to prepare for such contact by sacrificing extraneous, self-oriented distortions in order to be of service. The raw social memory complex offers itself also as a function of its desire to serve. Both the caller and the contact are filled with gratitude at the opportunity of serving others. We may note that this in no way presupposes that either the callers or those of our group in any way approach a perfection or purity such as was described in the bidding process. The calling group may have many distortions and be working with much catalyst as may those of Ra. 
The overriding desire to serve others, bonded with the unique harmonics of this group's vibratory complexes, gives us the opportunity to serve as one channel for the one infinite creator. Things come not to those positively oriented, but through such beings. Questioner. Thank you. You stated an earlier time until transfers of energy of all types have been experienced and mastered to a great extent, there will be blockages in the blue and indigo radiations. Could you explain that more fully? Ra. I am Ra. At this space time we have not covered the appropriate intermediate material. Please request at a more appropriate space time nexus. Questioner. I'm sort of hunting around here for an entry into some information. I may not be looking in a productive area. But you had stated that we that is Ra had been aided by shapes such as the pyramid so that we could aid your people with a shape such as the pyramid. These shapes have been mentioned many, many times, and you have also stated that the shapes themselves aren't of too much consequence. I see a relation between these shapes and the energies that we have been studying with respect to the body, and I would like to ask a few questions on the pyramid to see if we might get an entry into some of this understanding. You stated, you will find the intersection of the triangle which is at the first level, on each of the four sides forms a diamond in a plane which is horizontal. Can you tell me what you meant by the word, intersection? Ra. I am Ra. Your mathematics and arithmetic have a paucity of configurative descriptions which we might use. Without intending to be obscure, we may note that the purpose of the shapes is to work with time-space portions of the mind-body-spirit complex. Therefore, the intersection is both space-time and time-space oriented, and thus is expressed in three-dimensional geometry by two intersections which, when projected in both time-space and space-time, form one point. Questioner. I have calculated this point to be one-sixth of the height of the triangle that forms the side of the pyramid. Is this correct? Ra. I am Ra. Your calculations are substantially correct, and we are pleased at your perspicacity. Questioner. This would indicate to me that in the Great Pyramid at Giza, the Queen's Chamber, as it is called, would be the chamber for initiation. Is this correct? Ra. I am Ra. Again, you penetrate the outer teaching. The Queen's Chamber would not be appropriate or useful for healing work, as that work involves the use of energy, in a more synergic configuration rather than the configuration of the centered being. Questioner. Then would the healing work be done in the King's Chamber? Ra. I am Ra. This is correct. We may note that such terminology is not our own, 